Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Now we are more than halfway through the last book written by Moses. Having read through the past four books, it's given me a deeper respect for Moses as a fellow human being. Yes, he may have lived several millennia ago, but the reality of the situation is that he was a fellow mortal on the road of life. He hadn't been the first person God had chosen to use as a prophet, and as the chapter we read yesterday hinted at, he certainly wasn't the last that God did his wonders through. I have started to write a book looking at Moses the Man, which I hope I will have an opportunity to publish in the future. But for now, let us concentrate on what God has to say to us today through Moses. Deuteronomy chapter 19. Let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. When Yahweh your God cuts off the nations whose land Yahweh your God gives you, and you succeed them and dwell in their cities and in their houses, you shall set apart three cities for yourselves in the middle of your land, which Yahweh your God gives you to possess it. You shall prepare the way and divide the borders of your land, which Yahweh your God causes you to inherit into three parts, that every killer may flee there. This is the case of the killer who shall flee there and live. Whoever kills his neighbor accidentally, and didn't take him in the time past, as when a man goes into the forest with his neighbor to chop wood, and his hand swings the axe to cut down the tree, and the head slips from the handle, and lets his neighbor so that he dies, he shall flee to one of these cities and live. Otherwise, the avenger of blood might pursue the killer, or his heart is heart, and overtake him. Because the way is long, and strike him mortally, even though he was not worthy of death, because he didn't hate him in time past. Therefore I command you to set apart three cities for yourselves. If Yahweh your God enlarges your border, as he has sworn to your fathers, and gives you all the land which he promised to give to your fathers, if you keep all this commandment to do it, which I command you today, to love Yahweh your God, and to walk ever in his ways. And then you shall add three cities more for yourselves, besides these three. This is so that innocent blood will not be shed in the middle of your land, which Yahweh your God gives you for an inheritance, leaving blood guilt on you. If any man hates his neighbor, lies in wait for him, rises up against him, strikes him mortally so that he dies, and he flees into one of these cities, then the elders of his city shall send and bring him there and deliver him into the hand of the avenger of blood, that he may die. Your eyes shall not pity him, for you shall purge the innocent blood from Israel, that may go well with you. You shall not remove your neighbour's landmark, which they of old times have set, and your inheritance which you shall inherit, the land that Yahweh your God gives you to possess. One witness shall not rise up against the man, for any wickedness, or for any sin, in any sin that he sins. The mouth of two witnesses, or the mouth of three witnesses, shall a matter be established. If an unrighteous witness rises up against any man to testify against him of any wrongdoing, then both of the men, between whom the God's refers he is, shall stand before Yahweh, for the priests and the judges who shall be in those days, and the judges shall make a careful investigation, and see if the witness is a false witness unless testified falsely against his brother, then he shall do to him, as he had thought to do to his brother, so he shall remove the evil from among you. Those who remain shall hear, and fear, and will never again commit such evil among you. Your eyes shall not pity, life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot.